Hello again, and yeah, welcome back to the channel, Ivia Niam Wells. I'm a third year medical student of the University of Obado. So, Jam is like two weeks and some days away from now, and I decided to make this video for two categories of students. So, the first category are students that have been studying all this while, but still feel unprepared and are not sure of what to do to maximize their remaining time left. So, for this category, I'll be sharing tips on how you can maximize the time you have left, how you can train yourself to answer questions with more speed and accuracy, and how you can eventually gain confidence before the time of your exam. The second category of students I'm making this video for are those that have not started studying. In all honesty, I would never advise anyone to wait till two weeks before studying for your exam, but I've spoken to quite a number of you and some of you have genuine reason why you're just starting to study now. It is understandable. So now is not the time to get mad at yourself or feel over pressured. It is time for you to use the time you have left in the best way possible. So if you fall into this category of students that are just starting to prepare for the exam or have not started at all, I'll be sharing tips on how you can possibly do as much as you can within these two weeks. So this video will be divided into three parts and I'm going to be putting the timestamp in the description box. You can skip around if you like. So for the first part, I'm going to be sharing tips on how to reduce the pressure and anxiety you are feeling at the moment if you are feeling it. Actually, a little amount of pressure might be a good thing because it might push you to your study table to go study. But if there is too much pressure and anxiety, it is going to be leading to stress and one way you are going to want to cope with the stress is to avoid the thing that is causing the stress which is the book. Now not reading your book is going to cause more stress and the cycle keeps going that way. So how do you reduce this anxiety and pressure? The simple way is by planning and taking action. This is one of the lessons I've learned from medical school, especially when I'm in such a situation whereby my exam is closed and I'm not well prepared enough. I look at the total amount of work there is to be done, but if I know I can't focus on all this work, I look at the reasonable amount of work I can do within the period of time left and I focus on that work within that time. This is going to give me like peace of mind, I will not just be jumping up and down, I just focus on the high yield topics. So let's relate it to JAM. In JAM, if you consider your four subjects, you might be having over 100 topics altogether. So for the remaining two weeks, if you are trying to focus on all those 100 topics, you will find yourself not doing any because by the time you are doing a particular topic, you feel like, oh, there's another topic, there's another topic. Now, if you've been studying before now, you should know the topics that you need to pay attention to during this period. That is why early preparation is key. If you've been solving past questions, you will know, okay, these are the topics I do not know yet. And these are the topics I've not read yet, but I want to read before the exam. So all these topics are the ones you are going to plan to work on. And that's just what you are going to work on. And if you are going to be making any changes, it is going to be very slight changes. Not like if you just find a topic, you just abandon what you plan to do and jump to it. It is going to be causing so much pressure and anxiety. Secondly, you should know that JAM is just another exam and you are going to write this exam and the world is not going to end. So you should not worry about because worrying about it won't really change anything if you are not taking the right action. So change your mindset, worry about nothing and pray about everything. First step is to enter the exam mode. Yes, there is something like exam mode. You must, if you've been solving past questions very frequently, you must have noticed that there are sometimes you'll just be mentally alert that no matter how difficult the question is, you'll be able to solve those questions very well. And some other time, your brain will just be lagging. And something you can normally solve during time you are alert, you just find it difficult to solve. There is an optimal mode, and that is where you want your brain to be. You want your brain to be in the best active state. For the exam so how do you reach this optimal state before your exam number one is to practice question every single day from now to your exam day you don't have to solve 10 years of question each day just solve as many questions as you feel is necessary but what is important is that you are solving question between every single day now another thing is that while solving the question make sure you are doing it under exam condition you should be doing it in limited time. Start giving yourself limited time to practice this question. And try to always solve difficult questions as well. I know this might feel quite difficult, straining and frustrating, but come to think of it. The difficulty of your exam is usually similar to that from the past question. 
So if you always run from past questions because they are difficult, then what are you going to do, do on your exam day? Just make sure that your brain understands that, okay, for the remaining two weeks, I'm going to be rewired to solve difficult questions and I'm going to be doing it very fast with great accuracy. Another thing you want to be doing is to learn to solve calculation questions faster. If you are using scientific calculator at this time, I'll just advise you to just snap it into two and throw it into the dolphin. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, but on a serious note, you should not be practicing with scientific calculator because in your real exam, you will not be given scientific calculator. I feel if you are doing that, you are deceiving yourself. Scientific calculator is much easier to use than the calculator you will be given in your exam. So you should practice with the normal market women calculator. Jam generally don't set questions that you can't really solve without scientific calculators. But you might have to memorize like the trigonometric ratio of some main angles, for example, sine 30, cos 30, 60, and so on. Another thing that helps me solve questions faster is to solve them in standard form. For example, if I'm going to multiply 2.5 times 10 per minus 6, multiply by 2 times 10 per minus 5. I do not need calculator to do this because if punching this into your calculator is going to even waste a lot of your time. All those things are going to be tough and difficult, but if you condition your mind to keep doing this thing between now and your exam, on your exam day, it will not be much of a big deal for you. Oh, and sorry about the noise. This is Lagos, everywhere is so noisy. And lastly, under entering the exam mode, you should start visualizing yourself in the exam hall. There's a way our brain is always scared of novelty. Anything that we've not experienced before, we tend to be afraid when we're experiencing it for the first time. But if you've not written jam before, one way you can make yourself familiar is to visualize or imagine yourself in the exam hall while you are practicing. You could be using maybe CBT, you, you could be using some of this jam app or even solving questions directly from your past question. Try to simulate the actual exam condition. Give yourself the two hours you will be given in the exam and give yourself the 60 English question and the 40 question in the other three subjects. You can also try this once in a while. Just make sure that get used to that exam condition, get used to it, that by the time of your exam, it will just feel like you are just repeating what you've been doing like since two weeks ago on your exam day. The second part is to strengthen your strength and work on your weaknesses. There are some topics like till now, I do not know them perfectly, but I kind of have some sort of idea. And this is also something I would advise. There are some topics you've read and you know very well. During this time, make sure that you own those topics. I'm not asking you to go back and read all over again what you've read before. That would be a waste of your time. But by solving past questions and telling yourself that, okay, all these topics that I know very well, I'm not allowed to fill questions from this topic. If you fill question from that topic, make sure you do the correction thoroughly. Go to the past question, check the answer to the question, or if you have to go back to the textbook to that section where you filled and try to read it very quickly since you already knew the topic it will not be difficult for you to strengthen the connection for topic that you do not know for topic that are difficult don't waste your time trying to learn just one topic and you are finding it difficult to learn like we kept trying to if you read it once or maybe twice and you still don't understand it stop wasting your time on that single topic so another, what you should do is to look for someone that knows the topic better or even a single youtube video that explains concept very well or meet a friend if you attend a tutorial just find a means to get to learn this topic so another way to also learn topics that we find difficult is just to have an idea you don't have to learn it look at the past question and see how they ask questions on those topics and see the kind of answer that goes for those topics if you if you see that kind of question in multiple years and see how it is varying and the kind of answer that fits it there is a chance that when you eventually see another question that is similar maybe not the same you are going to have an idea or you are going to tend to pick the right answer even if you do not know the topic perfectly. I don't actually know how much you already know or how you are feeling right now. Some of you will be feeling like, like oh I'm toast or you are not toast and the remaining time you have left you can still use it 
to the best of your advantage if you already have a plan and the plan is working for you you do not have to follow mine just make sure that what you are doing is working for you and stick to it so the first thing to actually do is not to be anxious just calm down and plan instead you should pick um years of past question you want to pay attention to between now and your exam i would advise you solve between five to ten years of past question each for each subject and you should also plan about how you're going to be spending your time now you should create more time for yourself or how you're going to manage your day to ensure that you are getting enough studied time now the second step is to use past question actually i always get asked this question that do jam repeat past questions i would say yes and no no because it is very hard for you to see a past question that is repeated word for word like exactly exactly word for word and yes because most of the questions especially if you're a science student for science students most of, of the concepts have not changed over the time like it might be different for literature students because after some years they change the literature that secondary school students are supposed to read i i suppose so but for science what they've been learning since the 90s is almost the same as what we are learning in the 2000s so they repeat the question but usually no word for word and for you to gain advantage of solving past question you have to understand the question and the answers to the question so when you do a question and you memorize the question and the answer i would say that's not going to help you but what you should do is to check the question and the answer know why the answer is the answer so that if they alternate the question you will know the right answer that fits to it so you want to solve like five to ten years of past questions for each of the subjects you are taking and after solving it you make sure that you analyze the answer there are some very good textbook on this like lamb lad after showing you the answer they also go for that to give like a summary of why the answer is the answer so try to read the summary and know why the answer is the answer if you have to you can go further to check the textbook to kind of have more knowledge of why that answer is answer and there are also some jam apps that does this 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 the next step is to learn to study with speed i actually made a video on how i study faster yeah i believe some of the tips will be helpful for you but let's continue now you don't try to figure out every single thing by yourself it might not be possible to read all the old jam syllabus now what you want to do is to try to meet someone that will help you make the work easier for you so if you are attending a tutorial if they are teaching a topic try to learn the topic that they go back home to consolidate it if you have friends that are smart you can also meet them to explain concept for you you could use youtube video and if you can afford it you can hire someone you can hire a private tutor who for the remaining two weeks will be on top of your matter like it's going to he or she will be teaching you stops and ensure that you are doing it right and if you have questions you can be meeting such person so your your goal is not to learn all the topics and the jam syllabus but to learn as many topics as you can number four is to study actively active study is the best way to study because you do not have time to be reading something all over and all over again by reading it passively don't just carry your book and just read through like that instead study actively as you are studying make sure your mind is fully in your book Try to use different active studying methods. Question yourself after you've studied something. When you are doing something else, try to think about it and connect the dots. You could also use mind map to connect what you've just learned together. And very nice, if you can find someone that will listen to you, you can teach the person what you've just learned. All these are different active studying methods that can help you learn faster and remember what you've learned by your exam that is the end of this video if you found it helpful make sure you give it a like and subscribe to be a member of this community how are you say hi hi say hi, hi. bye 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 all right thank you go <laughs> don't come back here don't come back here you know your word <laughs> i like it like this you like it yeah, i like it say subscribe subscribe say subscribe subscribe all right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.